I got a chance to travel a lot. Because of that, I have seen and have visited all European countries. I have visited most of the Middle East countries. I have visited most of African countries, Asian, South American. And here in America, I did visit most of the states. And in Canada, most of the Canadian states. Yes, I have seen a lot. But I have a message for America. America is one of superpower in the nation in this century. America is one of the richest country in the world, the great nation. That's why now we need to think and do something our best to make America great again. But the question is, how we can make America great again? Again, how we can make America great again? That question has to be answered properly and timely. This is a good time, especially after one week or two weeks, there is a presidential election for this great nation and country. To elect the president of the United States of America, one of the great nation, who has a vision, who can make a change, who can make America great again. Look at the infrastructure in America. Let's start from simple thing to the complex one. Look at the transportation system. Look at the roads. Look at the railways. Look at the trains. Most of our t trains, most of our railways are very backward, remote and old. Some of them were built or infrastructured in the 18th century or in the 19th, the beginning of 19th century. There is no change. But look at some train system in other countries. Look at China. And look at some Europeans. Look at some uh, Scandinavians or others. Look at Asians. Their transportation system is really well-developed, modernized, very fast. But our railway system, transportation system is very old and backward. This great nation, one of the richest country in the world, hardworking people, they pay taxes. We have the resources, all resources. We have all finance, the economy is here. So why we have old infrastructure? Look at the power system, the electrical power system. When you drive, you can see the electrical poles, the electrical wires, very old. It's not even safe. It's not beautiful. It doesn't go with the new era, the new technology system. We are not compatible with other countries. Look at China. They are running fast. They are highly, now they are developing. They change their infrastructure. They change their city. They change their transportation system. They change their power, electrical power system to make it updated. That can go with the new technology. 
our electrical system especially in the winter time when there is wind when there is tornado where there is snow there are a lot of power outrage and that affects our life that affects our economy our time our safety look at our bridges the most of our bridges are old very remote which was built or established in the 18s or in the 19s say no change at all it's not beautiful it's not safe look at our educational infrastructure including the schools elementary school middle school high school college and universities the education system in america is not compatible with the new technology the new generation we are racing with like china saudi arabia uh, dubai look at their city look at their infrastructure look at their educational system look at their roads look at their electrical powers look at their beautiful cities look at their transport system america have has almost 350 million people more than that and hard working people we pay taxes because of that our government has a lot of income a lot of wealth or money but we need to have a vision we need to have a leader we need to have some wisdom to apply and to change the infrastructure for education for transportation for economy investment so to bring innovation to bring investors to raise highly skilled young people we have to start from the scratch we need to change the education system look at old schools some of them they don't have proper air conditioning system some of them have they don't have proper sanitation proper food proper transportation proper educational system we need to change it to make america great again in the meantime we need to have a good social infrastructure social interaction the interaction people to people state to state community with community person to person our core value is one nation one nation under god we have to focus on that one nation even if we have different backgrounds different color we are one nation one country so we need to bring that fabric that bring us together to stand together to help one another to understand one another to respect one another to work together and to change the country to create peace and harmony to live in harmony to live in peace with respect so 
Look at our economy infrastructure. It is stagnant now. Look at some African countries. They are vibrating now. They are so vibrant in economy. They have better economy activity than here in America. Because I have seen that. I was there. Look at the Middle East. Look at Dubai. Look at Saudi Arabia. Their economical system, their economy system is vibrating, vibrant. They are working a lot to, ch to make a change with the new technology, with the new era, with the new development, with the new generation. And to attract investors, to invest, and to have strong economy that opened the door for many young people. and create sustainable lifestyle, health, health system. Our health system is very backward. Some of the hospitals, the infrastructure, the service, it's not like we are in the 21 century. Some of them are stagnant. They are not needs. So we need to make some change. One nation under God. Either black or white or yellow or any other color skin. We are one nation. We are created by the image and likeness of God. Our value has to be one nation under God. Are we really focusing with common value, the common core value we have under God? That God has given? That makes America great? When we read the Bible, when you read John chapter 17, knowing God, the Creator, and His Son is giving eternal life. And David says, Psalm 119, starting from verse 7 and 8, he said, I will focus. I will keep your, your principles, statutes, statutes, or the word statue comes from the statutes. The principle, the core value that gives us wisdom, the fear of God, the love of God, that brings life that brings moral life ethical life peaceful life for the family for the children for the young people in the school in the working area in the neighbors all over the areas having fear of god will bring a change that's why jesus is teaching us the core values for all human beings to love God and to respect and to follow his principles. That's a core of wisdom. So we have one week or two weeks to elect the president of this great nation, the United States of America. Let's make America great again with a core value that God has given. When God is with us, who is standing against us? When God is with us, who can stand against us? The presence of God brings peace. The presence of the Holy Spirit 
the presence of his wisdom can bring peaceful, harmonious life. So we can be one nation under God. With this understanding, with this core value we have, and this ethics what we have, we can make America great again. With the vision, how the Bible says, without vision, people will perish and the city will be destroyed. Let us have vision for the new generation. Let us have vision for the knowledge. Let us have vision for the economy. Let us have vision for peace. Let us have vision for different infrastructure that can work with the new technology, beauty and safety to create a lot of works, work, job, application to answer our economical questions. We need to focus all on these areas to make America great again. This is the right time. This is your day to stand up, to do all your best, to make America great again. May God bless America. May God bless you.